Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to Network Chuck. Calling search spaces, partitions, class of control. What are these things? In this video, I want to give you guys a quick rundown of calling search spaces and partitions in Cisco Call Manager. As a network engineer and as a voice engineer, obviously, you need to know the ins and outs of the dial plan. You need to know exactly how everything flows, how to restrict people from being able to dial internationally, from dialing executives, from dialing 900 numbers. So this marks the first video in a series I'm doing on dial plans, focusing on Cisco Call Manager. I'm giving you a quick rundown of class of control, calling search spaces and partitions, and kind of how you would use them, give you some really awesome examples of how I've used them in my companies and my deployments. Now, since this is a series, you don't wanna miss anything. You don't wanna miss my next video, so please click subscribe. All right, guys, so what we're talking about today is class of control. What is that? It's basically a way for you to determine who can call who. It's basic permissions for the telephony world. In other terms, if you don't want some callers to reach certain destinations, you force choke them with the restrictive CSS. Within Call Manager, class of control is implemented via partitions and calling search spaces. First thing you gotta know, what the junk are partitions and calling search spaces? We will start with partitions. A partition is a container or grouping of dialable destinations. Things such as directory numbers, route patterns, translation patterns, voicemail ports, etc. You kinda got the picture. All of these CUCM elements are grouped into these partitions these containers. You assign these elements to partitions. Basically, partitions ask, who can call me? Whereas calling search spaces say, who can I call? So those are partitions. Now here we are at calling search spaces. What are those? In the simplest terms, calling search spaces are groups of partitions. So while partitions group or contain directory numbers, route patterns, translation patterns, calling search spaces contain partitions. You assign partitions to calling search spaces. So for example, here in my little graphic, I have the network chuck CSS. And this is a calling search space that contains all of these partitions. This tells whatever device the CSS is assigned to that, hey, you can dial all these numbers and translation patterns and ports in these partitions. Basically a calling search space, they're assigned to devices or anything within CUCM that can dial other things. All right, so now let's dig deeper. Now, first things first, the null partition. It's often called the null partition, but really it's it shows up in call manager as none. The null partition and the null CSS. It's what every phone and dialable element is placed in by default from the base CUCM install or config. As far as permissions go, everyone can dial everyone. Everyone can dial everything. Zero permissions, zero security, you should zero do this. Don't do this. You want to make sure everything is out of the none partition. It's the wild west, no control. So now, the easiest way to explain anything is through Star Wars, right? So here we go. So we have been contracted by the Galactic Empire to design a basic dial plan. Here is what we are working with. We have the Stormtroopers, which are your basic users. We have the Captain. This is uh, Captain Tarkin. Uh, you would have seen him from the original series and from the newest one. And uh, they'll be your, your manager type bosses here. And then we have our C-suite, the big bosses, Darth Vader and the Emperor. Geographically speaking, we've got the Death Star, which is going to be where everyone here is. We've got our lovely planet Tatooine, which is going to be our, our local outbound dialing. And then we have Serpendal. This is a planet in the Outer Rim, very far away, very um, intergalactic. This is going to represent our intergalactic dialing or international dialing. So when you see the Death Star, you think directory numbers, internal dialing. Tatooine is gonna be outside of our system, going to a gateway, it's local outbound, and then this is going to be international dialing. Serpendal is in the Outer Rim of the galaxy, it's far away. Now here's the specs of our little project here. Let's start with the stormtroopers. We have been mandated to allow the stormtroopers to dial locally within the Death Star and dial managers, and that's it. We don't want them dialing local outbound to Tatooine. There's no reason for them to be reaching out to the planet um, unless they are already there. We definitely don't want them dialing Serpendal. Way too far away, way too expensive. Who knows what those little guys are doing? We all know that 
some of these guys are just rebels in disguise. And also the last thing about the stormtroopers, we definitely do not want them dialing the Emperor and Darth Vader, our C-suite, or risk our planet being destroyed. And now the captain, our manager is here, our manager type. They need to call everyone within the Death Star. That's going to include our stormtroopers and our C-suite here, the Emperor, Darth Vader. Got to reach out and let them know what's going on. Um, but these guys have no reason to reach out to Serpent Doll. This is very high level stuff. Um, they can dial Tatooine. They gotta give orders to the troops on the ground. Serpent Doll, we're not gonna allow that to happen. And finally, our fearless leaders, our overlords, Darth Vader and the Emperor, need full access to everything. They need to dial everyone in the Death Star. They need to reach their managers to give orders. And they need to reach any planet in the galaxy. That would include Serpent Doll for whatever nefarious things are going on there. So we've got our orders. Let's design. Now, there are a few ways we could go about this, and I'll show you both. So uh, here's the first one. So here are the elements we're working with here. We've got our stormtroopers, got our captain, we've got our Darth Vader, our emperors. We've created three CSSs. We've got our stormtrooper CSS, our captain CSS, and dark side CSS. And then we have our partitions, the Death Star partition, which contains all of our directory numbers from Stormtrooper to Dark Lord. Then we have our Tatooine partition, which contains the local outbound route patterns. This will get you to Tatooine if you dial nine, and then any pattern matching this pattern here. And then finally we have the Serpent Doll partition, which is the internet, well, sorry, it is the intergalactic route pattern, 9.011, and then your international destination will get you out. So let's begin. The Stormtroopers, we only want them to dial within the Death Star. So only directory numbers in the Death Star partition. We will assign the Death Star partition to the Stormtrooper CSS, only giving them access to dial the numbers in the Death Star partition. Now for the captains, our managers. We will create the Captain CSS and assign the Death Star partition, giving them access to dial the Stormtroopers, other captains, and the sea level, Darth Vader and the Emperor. We are also giving them access to dial Tatooine or our local outbound. And now for the rulers of the galaxy. We give them access to dial everything. The Dark Side CSS can dial the Death Star DNs, Tatooine, and place intergalactic calls to Serpendal, our international route pattern. They rule the dial plan as well as the galaxy. Now if we go back to our stormtroopers, you remember me saying that one of the requirements is that the stormtroopers should not be able to dial Lord Vader and the Emperor. Our sea level guys. With this design here, they have full access to dial any DN within this partition. So a little peon stormtrooper, if he decides he has a great idea for Lord Vader, he could place a call to Lord Vader right now. We don't want this happening. We need to make sure stormtroopers can't dial the Dark Lords. How do we do that? Now remember, you can assign calling search spaces to things that can dial things. So far, we have assigned the calling search space to our phones, but we can also assign a calling search space to our lines. And that's exactly what we are going to do with our stormtroopers. We are going to create another partition labeled Dark Lord Block. In this partition, we are going to create a translation pattern with Lord Vader and the Emperor's directory numbers. And we'll set these translation patterns to instead of routing these calls, they will block these calls. We will then create another CSS and label that Force Choke CSS. And we will assign the Dark Lord's partition block to the Force Choke CSS. Then we will assign this CSS to the line of the Stormtrooper. So as it stands, our Stormtrooper, their phone has the Stormtrooper CSS giving them access to dial the Death Star partitions. That means they can dial Stormtroopers, they can dial Captains and Managers, and they can dial Dark Lords, the sea level. But we have the line CSS with the force choke CSS assigned. So wait, how does that work? Well, here's what happens. When you utilize both a line and phone CSS, they gel, they concatenate. The line CSS has priority and the rules set in there override the phone CSS. So when a stormtrooper dials Lord Vader at 3756, it will be blocked by the line CSS. Now, if they dial a fellow stormtrooper at 4567, it will not match any patterns in the line CSS governed by the Dark Lord's partition, and it will instead obey the rules in the device CSS, which does give them access. Now, there is another popular way to design this. Instead of creating different calling search spaces for each phone, we will create one calling search space for the phones, allowing access to all dialing patterns. As you can see here, every class here from Stormtrooper to Dark Lord has the Empire CSS that we've newly created, and it's assigned to every phone. We will then 
restrict who they can call by utilizing the line CSS, similar to what we did earlier with the stormtroopers trying to call the Dark Lords. So the view here is just the phone CSS. So remember here, we have the Empire CSS for the stormtrooper assigned to their device. Now for their line on their phone, we'll create the stormtrooper CSS, and then we'll create two additional partitions. We have the Tatooine block partition, which will match this pattern and block any call matching that pattern. We also have the Serpent Doll partition block that'll match the international pattern and block those calls. We'll then assign these two partitions to the Stormtrooper CSS. So we have the line CSS, the Stormtrooper CSS, taking precedence over the Empire CSS, which gives access to everything. So the rules will first block anything matching these patterns and then allow anything matching these patterns that hasn't already been blocked by the line CSS. We'll then proceed to do the same thing with the captain. We want the captain to be able to dial everything, but we do not want him to be able to dial Serpent Doll. So here we have Serpent Doll partition that blocks any intergalactic calls. That's assigned to the captain CSS, assigned to the captain's line. So again, when the captain tries to dial anything international, it's going to match this pattern first on his line and block it. And then when he tries to dial anything in the Death Star or Tatooine, it will match his phone CSS and give him access. And for the Dark Lords, we simply will not assign anything on their lines. We'll let the phone CSS take precedence um, and not be superseded by a line CSS. And the Dark Lords still have access to dial everything in the galaxy. Now there's one more caveat I want to cover. Many people intuitively think that a DN in one partition can dial another regardless of their calling search base. That is not true. So here in my example, I created a new class of Stormtrooper. He's our contractor. He's been assigned to a very, very specific job. He is going to be making contacts in the Outer Rim in Serpendal. That's his only job. That's what he's been brought on to do. He has no need to dial anyone else but Serpendal. So we created the new CSS Stormtroopers contract, and we assigned him only one partition the Serpent Doll Partition. Now the Stormtrooper, his line is Director Number 4567 and the Death Star Partition. And then we have our standard Stormtrooper with the Director Number also and the Death Star Partition. Now you would think that because they are in the same partition, they can dial one another. Not true. No matter what partition you're in, your calling search base determines what your phone or line can call. So this Stormtrooper can only dial Serpent Doll. If he tried to dial extension 4566, the regular stormtroopers. It would not work. Now, the other way around, yes, of course. The stormtroopers can dial anything within the Death Star partition. Therefore, if they dialed 4567, this guy over here, it would match that partition. He's got permission to dial this and he would get right through. All right, so real quick, I do wanna cover how you would configure all of this in Call Manager. It's very basic, but you need to know how to do it. So once you're logged into CUCM administration, you'll navigate over to Call Routing, Class of Control, and you first wanna create your partitions. So we'll go ahead and do that. Click Add New. Here you can add them in bulk, separated by lines. So now that we've uh, set up our partitions, we'll go ahead and click Save and they'll be added. So now that we've created our partitions, we'll go ahead and create our calling search space as well, or our calling search spaces. So we'll uh, go back to Call Routing, Class of Control, and Calling Search Space. Go ahead and click Add New. We'll first create our Stormtrooper CSS, and we'll add our Death Star partition. Just find it in the available partitions. Select your down arrow here. And now that it's in selected partitions, we'll click save and our CSS has been created. Um, I'll go ahead and click copy here. That way we retain our common partition here. And we'll create our captain CSS. Save. Actually, I forgot to add our Tatooine. So we'll go ahead and click find, add. So this is what we want to have our captains have access to. We have our CSS, our partitions, Death Star, and Tatooine. Click save. We'll click copy one more time and create our dark side CSS. And we'll add, we'll go here and click find. Look for Serpent Doll. There it is. Click add and save. So now we have a dark side CSS with access to the Death Star partition, Tatooine, and Serpent Doll partition. I won't go over how to create translation patterns and directory numbers. That'll be a video for another time. This has just been a basic overview of calling search spaces and partitions and how everything works with the class of control. Um, we will go more into depth with our dial plan series. So please stay tuned and subscribe. Well guys, that was it. Um, that was a quick overview of calling search spaces and partitions and class of control and call manager and all that good stuff you need to know be to become the best 
voice engineer and network engineer that you can be because often as a voice engineer you're also a network engineer and vice versa you may be stronger in one area you may be stronger in voice you may be stronger in networking most of the time you're gonna have to jump into either area uh, for me I'm both a network and voice engineer and I have to do both which is fantastic again this was the first video in a series I'm doing on Cisco call manager and dial plans and what I would recommend for your deployment and uh, some different scenarios so you don't want to miss anything, so please click subscribe, and uh, this stuff will be coming to you every single week. I don't only make videos on voice stuff, I make uh, videos for networking, and I make videos on certifications. I'm working on my certifications, and I know for me, it's really helpful to kind of watch guys on YouTube who are doing the same thing I'm doing, see what they're doing, how I can implement that into my training. Watching guys on YouTube helps me stay motivated. It helps me to uh, crack open that book again, press play on that video again, because it's hard to stay motivated. My last video was seven study tips for uh, your CCNA, CCMP, or really any certification for the new year. So please check that out. If you like this video, uh, please give me a thumbs up. Um, if you like what I'm doing with this channel and uh, what I'm doing with Network Chuck, please click subscribe. And also, please let me know in the comments what you think. And let me know what you would like to learn about. And let me know what type of videos you like. I'm gonna start throwing out different types of videos and let me know. And if you want even more from Network Chuck, um, please go to my website, networkchuck.com. I'll put it in the comments below and maybe even a card like right here. Go there, subscribe. Um, I'll be sending out email updates. I'll be sending out little helpful hints, some troubleshooting tips and and all sorts of things I kind of work with as I go throughout my work week. I'm an active voice engineer. I work uh, for a company in, in Dallas, Texas. I'm constantly learning. I'm constantly doing uh, troubleshooting issues. I'm getting new stuff. I'm playing new things. So as I hit issues or learn new things, I'll be sending email updates out saying, hey, this is what I learned. This is what I've been doing with this. If you like this video and you want a little PDF companion of what I've gone over in this video, uh, go to networkchuck.com and I'll have a PDF available for you guys. It will be a quick overview of calling search bases, partitions, and pretty much what we covered in this video, a quick little one sheet you can print out, tack to your cubicle, and uh, go about your day. Well, thanks so much guys for watching Network Chuck and I'll catch you guys later.